What should you look for when you are searching for a new Forex broker? Let's uh, talk about that and more right now. Hey traders, Andrew Mitchum here at the Forest Trading Coach with video and podcast number 439. And in today's video and podcast, something a little bit different for you. We're joined here by Ben Clay over at Blueberry Markets to talk about brokers, what to look for, and what you should look at for when you're deciding to choose a new broker. So Ben, welcome along. Good to have you here. Thank you very much, Andrew. Always a pleasure. Good to see you. And I think, Ben, it's been about a year since we had our last uh, catch up like this. So uh, looking forward to yes. lots of uh, developments and exciting things happening out there uh, with Blueberry. As am I. Thank you very much. No, good stuff. So, Ben, we've got, last week I asked um, some of our listeners to ask a, a group of questions, really, that they have always wanted to ask a broker. And I said, look, I've asked them on, on their behalf as we were having this catch up. So I've got some questions here. I'd like to run through them with you. The first thing, someone said, look, what are some of the things that they should be looking for? And what are the things they should be mindful of when they're out there searching for a new broker? Obviously, there's so many brokers out there online. They all claim to be good. They all claim to be legit. Uh, what is it that, um, it maybe just give us a, like a list of some of the things that they should look for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, for me personally, the first thing that I'm always looking at is reputation. Um, yes. So what what the public is saying about that broker, um, you know, online reviews, uh, do, your, do your absolute diligence when it comes to, to searching and, and looking through the reviews. Um, mm -hmm. Usually you're going to find that, you know, there'll obviously be some 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 poor reviews out there for, for every broker. Um, you yep. can get a pretty good idea when you look through the whole the whole catalog of, of what people are saying about them. Right. Um, next, next, I would say licensing and, and where the broker is regulated. That's yes. that's always going to be a very important one. Um, that there are some some good brokers out there who don't have uh, regulation. That's not to say that they're all bad, but when a broker is regulated, that gives the clients some. Um, uh, protection at the end of the day. There's someone they can go speak to if they're not happy with the, the resolution from the broker. And that, that's very important because uh, things do go wrong at times. Um, yeah. uh, it's, it's not to say that we're, we're a perfect broker whatsoever, but I think it comes down to how you handle uh, those client complaints um, and knowing that you can actually go somewhere uh, and speak to someone if you do have an issue um, that the broker hasn't resolved. So that's that's a big one for me. Lastly, I would say uh, customer service uh, is, is, is right. really, really important. So test it out. And that's not just with us. That's, that's for any broker. You know, jump onto their live chat, give them a call, ask them some questions and um, see, see, how you're, see how you're treated. Uh, I think those, uh, those three things there, the reputation, the, the, the licensing and customer service are definitely the things that I'd be looking for when, when searching for a broker. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that. One thing just to add to that, um, I find with your customer service, like your online live chat people. Um, I don't know who they are or where they're based even, but I just find them very knowledgeable and I get the answers straight away. I think there's nothing worse than whether it be a Forex broker or anything, you're out there trying to search for a product and they just give you a generic copy paste answer or they, yeah. what's your name, email address, and we'll get someone else to find it for you. You know, you know your guys yes. always give, the correct answer straight away and you get off the <laughs> chat after just a few minutes go well I'll fix the problem <laughs> well that uh, i'll pass that on to the uh, to our, our head of uh, the client experience because that's that's something that we've focused really hard on and we actually have targets and goals um you know to to have live chats answered within 30 seconds questions mm -hmm. answered within 30 seconds email responses within 30 minutes uh and as you said not just generic responses you know we've, we've built out our own knowledge base internally in the company so that everyone has access to that and everyone uh you know knows how the whole company works no matter what department you're in and on top of that as well we have customer service that's 24 7. um so right. even on the weekends when the markets are, markets are closed you can reach out and, and get in touch with people uh, so i really appreciate that that's that's something that we've worked very very hard to to get to and, and it hasn't been easy um but we have uh you know a really dedicated customer service team that, that we're really yeah. proud of yeah good well it's look it's working well i can just say that from my own personal experience as well always um, always good to know thank you yeah it is that's you know, excellent uh, ben, next question here. Someone said, how easy is it to add and withdraw funds and what payment methods do you offer? Uh, another great question. Um, 
the one question that I'm always blown away that I get asked, and it, it, I was I was surprised at how often I would get asked this was, am I allowed to withdraw profits? That's what I used to get asked by clients all the time, which would yeah. just astonish me. Yes. I mean, yes, they're your they're your funds. You can withdraw them whenever you like. That's there's no issues whatsoever. Uh, Withdrawing is is very easy. We process withdrawals within 24 hours um, during business days, and it usually takes you know one to three days to hit the hit the accounts. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of adding funds, we've added a bunch of different payment methods now, so it's it's really nice and easy. We've actually added uh, USDT, so Tether crypto funding, which you can do through Ethereum. Uh, we also now have PayPal, uh, which has been really really uh, positive so far, okay. uh, as well as if, yeah, that that's uh, that's been a big one for us. And then, of course, credit card, bank wire, Skrill, Nutella, uh, Dragon Pay, and we also have Fasa Pay. Um, wow. So, so we got plenty of different options uh, to withdraw and deposit from, and it's it's we make sure it's nice and fast and easy. Yeah, it's not like the old days when you had to do the whole bank in, um, deposit and even head down the bank. I remember my first days with not with you guys, but long before. You know, it was a it was a slow process. Yes, yes, we've tried to make it as fast as possible. I think with you know global banking changes, it's everyone needs to be on that same page. There's no point delaying withdrawals or anything along those those lines. Um, as as a broker, that's one of the most important things, and and it was probably the most frequent question I get asked was how fast do you process your withdrawals and how easy mm-hmm. is it? Um, so it's it's important to us to to make it nice and easy. Yeah, yeah, and again, from personal experience, I find it's there sometimes the same day, and that's a different country as well. So yep. really good. Absolutely. I'm glad. And uh, safety of funds, obviously, you know, great to be able to get your funds back out, but how safe are someone's funds when they're there and they're actively trading with you? That's another good question. One that's uh, going back to the first question you asked, that's a question you should always ask the broker that you're coming Absolutely. on board with as well. You know, how, how are my funds held? Um, uh, what guidelines do you go by? So being regulated here in Australia, we have very strict guidelines to follow. So all, all our funds are held in segregated accounts here in Australia. And what right. that means is they're kept separate from the company uh, funds, operating day-to-day funds. Um, so obviously, there's any, there's always risk no matter where you're holding your funds in any financial institution. But the fact is that uh, we hold them separately from our day-to-day operating funds. So if anything is to happen to Blueberry Markets, those funds are held separate, so to speak. Cool. Well, that's uh, that's uh, good to know. Um, how long have you been operating? That's another question that came through. Okay, so yeah, we've uh, we've actually gone just past our five year anniversary, so uh, just over five years, around five and a half years now. Um, so we're we're very very proud of that. It's been a been a long five years. I mean, when I started here, there was we had you know, four employees, um, and, and now we have close to fifty um, wow. around the world. So yeah, we've had had a lot of growth, um, and I think you've been with us since uh, the, the very early days. I think two thousand and seventeen, yes. you yes. first joined us. Yes. Um, so you've been with us uh, along for the ride. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's good to know. I, I came over and uh, met Dean. Oh, it must have been close on that beginning time. It, it seems like yes. probably close on five years ago now. Yeah, I think we're due to come over and uh, and, and meet you this time around, make yeah, the trip good. over. Yep, that'd be awesome. Nah, good. Our platforms, MT4, MT5, your main platforms? Yes. Yeah, so we've got MT4 and MT5. Uh, obviously, they're all available on web and mobile platforms yes. as well so you can use them on mobile just download the apps there uh we've we haven't seen a need to branch out too much more on on the platform side of the moment everyone seems to you know still love mt4 and mt5 and i'm a big uh, still an mt4 mt5 proponent myself i've been using them for for 12 years now yes. uh so so those are the platforms that we have but you know if anyone has any uh, preferences or or platforms that they want to want to add always come to us we're always open for suggestions yeah, cool. I, I I find the MT4 and MT5 covers probably ninety percent of most traders out there. Yeah, exactly right. And, and on that as well, MT5 has the ability to have a lot more products than than MT4 yes. previously had. You know, there was server restrictions. Um, so now MT5, you know, you can have hundreds of products on there, which is which has been good for us. Yeah, good. I, I think that sort of ties in nicely with the next question uh, about cryptos because I've had some people say I can't find cryptos on Blueberry Markets and they can on other brokers. And uh, yeah, I, I'm interested to hear your your answer to that one. Yeah, so uh, that's again back to the platforms. We have all those products in our MT5 platform. So if you can't find them, speak to your account manager. You can actually request an MT5 account from your client portal. Just request an additional account and, and we'll get you set up with an MT5 uh, platform, which has uh, 10 crypto pairs on there. Right. And we've also added 
the we've got 200 Australian shares and we have 50 of the top US shares, Google, Amazon, um, Facebook, and so on. So that's been a big addition for us this year as well. Oh, wow. So on MT5, only for those new additionals. And can you trade those on just a normal Forex MT5 account? Can you? Yep, absolutely. So all those products should be there. If you don't see them as a little trick, uh, if you do have an MT5 account, and you don't see all those products, go to your market watch where you see all of those products listed mm-hmm. and right click on any pair in there and then just hit show all. And that will bring up literally every single product that we offer. Wow. Oh, that's good to know. Because so it's MT5 if you want to go those extra non forex Absolutely. Market. So um, with all those that you've mentioned, I, I doubt this next question is going to have um, an answer then because it seems like you've got a lot already. But the question was, will you be adding even more Forex pairs, cryptos, commodities, and indices? But it sounds like you've already got lots there already. Well, yeah. I mean, we do have a lot of products, but that's not to say that we're not open to adding more for sure. Um, right. We are uh, we always take suggestions on board. So if, if if there's certain demand for a certain product, then absolutely we'll be looking to add more. Uh, you know, as I said, MT5 has a lot less limitation. So uh, I'm hoping in the next year that you know, for, for whenever we do this video again next, that I'll have some updates um, with a, a bunch of new products as well. So uh, and again, if anyone has any suggestions, don't hesitate to reach out to us and, and put those forward. Wow, well, that, that's really good to know because uh, not only do you have a whole lot of extra markets to trade, but you're also willing to add additionals if there are demands there. Absolutely, absolutely. It's um, it's you know, we tr- try and do uh, what the people want at the end of the day. So, so yeah. yeah, come forward to us and, and let us know, and, and we'll take care of it. Perfect. Um, a question here, and I think this is a very um, what would be the word? So like, uh, people don't underestimate people underestimate the importance of this one. And, and someone said, and they may have seen a lot of my videos but they said do you have five days in your week on the charts and do your charts open at 5 p.m new york time i'm guessing they're talking about the forex markets yeah yeah so uh, absolutely that's something as well that was very important to us and, and same with the previous brokers i've worked out to be honest it's mm. uh, i don't understand why you would want to run on any other time frame that's mm. the that's the time frame that gives you the correct data and will give you five daily candles through the week. You know, the markets don't trade on Saturday, Sunday. So, so that's how it should be shown. And, and that's how we'll always show it. It does get a little bit tricky around daylight savings changes, but, but we always make sure that we keep them at 5 p.m. New York open. That's close. right. And that's what I've always taught people. If you work on, it doesn't matter where you live in the world, if you work on 5 p.m. New York time, it's the start of the new week and the start of each new day. Um, and, and people say, how do I find out? Well, for me, it's quite simple. If you go into a daily chart, there should be five candles in the week. And if you then scale down to, say, like a one-hour chart, the new day starts, the zero, zero candle on your one-hour chart will be 5 p.m. New York time. Exactly. That's a good way to look at it. And also, it's typically going to be, it's either going to be GMT plus two or GMT plus three, depending on whether New York is on daylight savings or not. Yes. So you can do a quick Google search as well. And what is GMT plus two time at the moment? If it matches your platform, then you know that that broker is running on that same time frame. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's good. And last question here, Ben. Uh, someone has said, what makes you guys different? Like, you know, like we said right in the beginning, most brokers think they're the best broker. But what what genuinely makes you guys different? That's a, a question that I always get excited to uh, to answer. Um, I, I guess we do have extremely competitive spreads and and lightning fast execution, which a lot of brokers do, and and there are a lot of great brokers out there. Uh, but I, I really think that our customer service is what separates us. At the end of the day, it's mm-hmm. something that we've worked so hard on, and and something that we thought we saw a gap in the market that while there are a lot of good brokers out there, there wasn't a lot of good brokers offering amazing customer service. And, yep. and we're focusing on offering the best customer service in the world when it comes to brokers, not just not just being there, but but being there for, for every single person that comes along and, and making sure that any issue is resolved um, in a real speedy timeline. So that's been, I think that's been what separated us and what's helped us grow to, to the level that we have in such a competitive industry. Uh, so I'm really, really proud of where we are. And, and I think if, if that's something that's important to you, and, and I think it should be important to everyone, is, yeah. is good customer service and, and yes. knowing that if something does go wrong, you've got someone there to talk to. So every, every single client of ours has their own personal account manager. No matter where you are in the world, you'll have someone there to speak to. Uh, and of course, we have that 24-7 live chat. Mm-hmm. So as well as a good range of products, amazing spreads and, and fast execution, it's the customer service that really separates us from the other brokers. Yeah. And, and you know, once again, I can uh, uh, I see that all the time. I hear that all the time, which is why 
you know, I've always had Blueberry Markets for the last five years as my preferred broker on the website for that reason that I know if I send people to you or people I suggest, I never send people, you know, I'll say, here's a group of brokers who I think are good. You can find out which ones you think are the best. And for them, yeah. then it's people making their call. Uh, but everybody that goes to you, the feedback is always exceptional around, you know, this was easy, this was good to set up, adding funds, withdrawing, especially the customer service. So, uh, yeah, look, thank you for doing that. And it's great to be associated with you guys within the Forex market when there's so many choices for people, but so much out there that's not good. It's great to, um, you know, be associated with someone who is good. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that, uh, that that kind of feedback. That's something that's really, really important to us. And, and the same goes for, for you at the Forex Trading Coach. You know, um, we've been, I've known you for a very long time and I hear nothing but positive feedback from your clients um, with the service and, and the products that you offer. So, so I really, really appreciate uh, uh, all the hard work you put into supporting Blueberry as well. Cool. Thank you, Ben. Uh, awesome to talk with you. Uh, thank you to everybody who have uh, who sent in questions. And uh, look forward to catching up again this time next year. We'll do another one. Sounds good to me. Let's not leave it as long next time. Sounds good. Thanks, Ben. Take care. Thanks, Andrew. Bye-bye.